Hi, so um, we just finished the uh, previous screening of Mulan and I think safe to say Kami and I, we surprisingly uh, don't share most of our opinions, I think, or well, at least some, uh, some, some of our opinions. So if you want to listen to what we have to say and hear us argue over Mulan, then, you know, keep an eye out for our next episode of The Dumbass. Hi guys, welcome to a new episode of E-Junkies. Uh, it's been such a great start uh, to September. We have, we have many, many great shows. Uh, in fact, Kape and I just watched Mulan actually a couple of nights ago um, for the, the preview screening and we are kind of going to be talking about that. You will hear our thoughts about it. And we also introduced you to shows that we think you should be catching for the next week or maybe the next two weeks. Just to let you guys know, spoiler alert, we will be diving into certain story beats. So Kape, we are going to start with Mulan. To me, I thought that Liu Yifei who plays Mulan I thought that she was too wooden I could hardly see any differences in her emotions or facial expressions but I think Brian you feel a bit differently I feel like generally I enjoyed the movie I thought it was a capable blockbuster movie I will talk about the pros to it first. So I thought Liu Yifei was, was a good casting, in my opinion, because yes, she was wooden, I observed that. But I kind of chalked it up to her just not being comfortable speaking in English, maybe. But I think in terms of carrying the emotional weight from Mulan, in terms of showing that transition, I think she did it well. Oh, um, action sequences, of course, were, were amazing. I mean, I think they did the choreography incredibly well. Like, it gave me the very old Hong Kong action films feel, very wuxia feel. You. And I enjoyed it. It's very much like what a Usa film would look like in the 2020 setting, right? Like with, with modern technology and everything. So I love that. In terms of the downsides, which obviously there were, first and foremost, there wasn't a lot of action sequences or so. Even like Donnie Yen and Jet Li had like maybe at most a minute of fights. And then that was it. I think if you're going to use these people as um, a draw for your show, I would like to see them do more. I concluded that they got Jet Li and Donnie Yen because they are the biggest male stars in the Asian movie industry and they just happen to be Kung Fu stars. Fundamentally, we can say we enjoyed it. Like, I mean, they, of mm. course, no movie is perfect from, from my case. This is probably the best live action adaptation that Disney has made so far. But yes. Okay, so moving on to... Ah, one more, one more. I forgot yeah. to say. The wonderful cameo at the end of the movie. Oh yeah! Oh my god, now that you reminded me. Okay, all the more, I think this is the reason why you should, you should be watched. All I will say is this. If you are a fan of the 98 animated classic, you will appreciate this cameo. Okay, so now we move on to the second show that... I'm not sure about you, but mm. I really want to watch this show. It's a movie on Netflix. It's called Alive. It feels very much like Train to Busan. So the story is about suddenly soul. There was this mysterious illness, and then people are start turning into zombies, and then they start eating and biting each other. I think I would like this because it presents us a situation that we don't usually see, or we can't see, or when we don't want to see. So on one hand, it's scary, but on the other hand, it's morbid fascination. Like you know, you have the Walking Dead, and then you have um, Train to Busan. And people just want to watch. I think it helps also to me is that I'll be picking up tips. Like, oh, okay, so you can do this to survive. I'm going to remember that if it ever happens in real life. And I watched the trailer and I thought that it did a very good job setting it up. The mood, the tension. And there was a very good twist in the trailer. The girl and the woman hugging. I thought one was eating the other. Yeah, hug first then eat, you remember? Oh. <laughs> There are going to be twists like that. If, if it's really going to play on human emotions like that, then that's what I would like to see. And that's what I think might be promising. And then the next show that we both watch... We are going to be talking about Lucifer. This season, we know that Lucifer is in hell. And I was hoping that we would have some glimpses of it uh, and some stories from there. But it was only half of the first episode or something. And mm. I thought that Michael's appearance was too convenient. Were there any mentions of him having a twin brother? Lucifer told me he had a twin brother. Nice to meet you. I'm Michael. But what I like about the show is the supporting characters. I like Nancy mm. a lot. We see her going through very human struggles. Wanting to be loved, wanting to, to have a soul. So I mm. like that. And of course, the cliffhanger in that season. I think we both like it a lot. We both really like the appearance of this person. Because ah. I think it changes a lot of things. 
And mm. hopefully we will get some answers. The appearance of this person at the cliffhanger, I think is a long time coming because mm. this person has been mentioned a lot. And I think finally the last thing I had issue with was the, the setting for the final battle before the cliffhanger. Okay, so um, that brings us to the end of another episode of E Junkies. We've talked about a lot of things and I hope that you guys find some of our opinions um, insightful for you guys. So just to give you a roundup, uh, there's Mulan which is out in cinemas right now. There is Alive which is the Korean zombie apocalyptic film that's come out on Netflix early September and there's also Lucifer which is out on Netflix right now actually the first half of season 5 and uh, if you enjoyed this video remember to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Asia One Com for more similar content and don't forget to check us out on Spotify if you want the extended version of Ninja Peace and we will see you guys on the next episode see you guys bye bye